What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel and in today's story we're going to talk about another instance in which politicians are just extremely out of touch with what's going on in the world in which they govern in which the world they represent i don't know if y'all are too familiar with the governor of california gavin newsom's executive order regarding the banning of gas-powered engines which took place back in 2020. That's what we're going to talk about here today. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and pull up the article and get started here. According to an article published by The Drive, California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed legislation that aims to ban the sale of gas-powered lawn equipment, generators, and other small engines designed for off-road use. This new law builds from the executive order signed by Newsom in 2020, that bans the sale of new passenger cars powered by internal combustion engines in 2035. In the same order, Newsom calls for, quote, 100% zero emission off-road vehicles and equipment, the phase-out of which must now be roadmapped by the California Air Resources Board, or CARB, in 2022 and officially put in place by 2024. So in this quote, we can see that Gavin Newsom pulled what I like to call, you know, the old Uno reverse card. You know, first, back in 2020, he's implementing these changes to be applied specifically to to vehicles. Right. Uh, but now, uh, you know, fast forward here, we're looking at, quote, zero emission off road vehicles and equipment. And this is already in the works. Right. It's going to be from what I read, it's supposed to be finished being roadmapped here, I believe in July 1st of this year, 2022, and officially put in place by 2024. So here's where I have sort of a problem and why I think personally, this man is very out of touch. Um, electric vehicles, they are very expensive. And you know, that is, you know, that is not exactly, you know, hidden knowledge, right? Does this man really think that the general population is going to be able to afford an electric car as expensive as they are in really just about 18 months. I mean, that that's delusional thinking, in my opinion. Like I said, he hit us with the Uno reverse card. He's saying, oh, this doesn't now only affect just your family car. Because the article goes on to say the text of the signed bill specifically calls for the banning of small off-road engines, SOAR. Uh, calling out emergency response equipment and generators as well as both residential and commercial lawn equipment. And that really got me thinking, you know, what does this mean for landscaping businesses that rely on this type of equipment, you know, to feed their families, especially small businesses that haven't quite reached their full potential yet, you know, businesses that, you know, aren't able to afford uh, this more expensive equipment? Or what about medical practitioners and their equipment? You know, when there's an emergency and there's no power, you know, what what are we going to do to help people that are in serious danger and in need of medical attention? Like, what are we going to do for those individuals? And I also got thinking, you know, things like military expenditures too. You know, we already spend a stupid amount of money on our military, you know, having to upgrade gas powered vehicles to electric vehicles in the military. You know, that's going to be a ton more money that's dumped into the military. Uh, what about generators in the home too? You know, a few years back, we all remember what happened in Texas, right? Um, you know, if there's some sort of, you know, natural disaster, you know, how are we going to keep our families safe? How are we going to keep our families warm? You know, these are the types of things that, you know, politicians just don't think about. You know, they think about themselves and everything else just seems to be, you know, not important. Um, we've already, of course, talked about everyday commuting. You know, electric cars are expensive. Um, farming, there's, there's just so many things that could be affected by this. Um, there's so many areas that are going to be affected by this. And again, like I mentioned earlier, it's expected to be, you know, all taken care of within the next just 18 months or so. That's just ridiculous to me. I, I don't understand how how our country is going to be able to adapt that quickly. I just don't see that happening, if I'm being honest. And if you think that this type of thing doesn't affect you or your family, I would encourage you to reconsider because this type of, you know, banning the gas powered engines, this type of thinking is already being seriously looked into by over a hundred other major US cities. 
And I'm sure there's some of you out there that are like, oh, Hunter, you piece of shit. You don't care about the environment. You don't care about global warming. And let me make it very clear. I'm not like a global warming, you know, anti-believer or whatever you would call it. I mean, who who knows, right? You know, there's arguments for both. I think it's I'm, I'm open minded to the idea that, you know, it should be a concern. But my thought process is politicians need to have the people's best interest in mind, you know, good, better, best, if you know what I'm saying. And I just think, you know, caring more about global warming and the environment is such of little concern, I think, when compared to the grand scheme of things, you know, again, like aspects of everyday living. But, you know, that's just one man's opinion. But don't worry, guys, because the state of California, they have pledged $30 million to assist small businesses with their transition to all electric vehicles and equipment. And that got me to thinking um, about a couple things, honestly. Um, For one, $30 million, that's really not that much money to spread across who knows how many businesses there are in just California alone, right? Um, I recall that we've given, I think at this point now, $2 billion worth of aid to Ukraine. And I mean, like, that's great, you know, like help people that are in need of help. But I feel like when it comes to the American people, we're always second, man. And that just doesn't sit right with me. $30 million for all small businesses across the entire state of California just doesn't seem like a lot of money. And I guess something's better than nothing, but I would love, you know, for someone that has more experience and more, I guess, understanding than I do to kind of, you know, do the calculations there. Because for me, 30 million just doesn't seem like that much money. Because from my understanding, the average person, they make about $1.2 million in their entire lifetime. And we're talking 30 million spread out across all small businesses in California. That just to me doesn't seem like a lot of money. Maybe I'm wrong here, but that's just kind of my thoughts on it. And I also did a little bit of research myself. Um, And by research, I mean I just looked up, you know, used Google to find the first article I saw that mentioned statistics and costs. And uh, then I'm about to present them to you guys, you know, Google. Uh, Google University for the win, if you know what I'm saying. But um, what I saw there is that a typical lawn tractor that is gas operated costs anywhere between $2,000 and $3,000, where an electric one would be as high as $4,000. Uh, typical zero turn lawnmower, uh, more like a kind of the, how do I describe it here? I think a zero turn is the one with the levers on the side that you use to turn. Basically, it's bigger than a typical lawn tractor. Those are going to go for typically about $4,500, uh, but they go anywhere between $2,900 upwards to $5,300. And then commercial lawn mowers, the big ones that you know the landscaping businesses would use, uh, people that are tending to bigger plots of land, those are going to be upwards of $1,000. And the electric ones would cost more than double of that from what I read in my findings. It's just so amazing to me because that information that I just gave you guys, that took me probably no joke about five to 10 minutes to find on my own with a couple of quick Google searches. And so how those that are responsible for running and leading our country are just so ignorant and avoid the facts is just mind boggling to me. So with all that being said, that's pretty much it for the video. Just kind of thought I'd get my thoughts and opinions out there for you guys. And because I knew when I saw this story, I knew I had to make a video on it because anytime that Gavin Newsom is out here making a clown of himself, you know, it's something that is very interesting to me and is something you know I need the scoop on. So um Figured I'd just leave this video. I would encourage you guys to like and subscribe and share this video with anyone, you know, friends or family that you think would find interest in this. Maybe find it to be at all informative, you know, send it their way. Um, And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, later.